Hi everyone. If you've ever tried to make a change in your company or to make something better or an improvement, sometimes you know that it can really be hard trying to get approvals from managers and trying to get the resources needed to get the job done. Well, one of the best ways to get an approval for a change in your project and to make a change in your business, even if you're not a manager yourself or don't have any authority yourself, the best way to do it is with a project business case. This project business case is the best one that I've ever used. It's all on one page, very easy to digest for executives, and it clearly summarizes, uh, you know, what are the costs, what are the benefits, um, which solution should we go with based on that, and it's all in the one place. We're gonna create one of these in Word for you today so that you can take it and use it straight away. But first, let's go over what each section is really quickly. We've got the title, so the project business case title. We need the date, we need the subject, so what are we trying to get done here? Who are we sending this to? So who's the approving manager? And who is it from? Maybe it's from us, maybe it's from a team, uh, maybe it's from a few different people. Now there's four basic sections here. And the first one is the summary. So if someone was to look at this at a glance, you know, this is your elevator pitch. So what is it just in one or two lines? Uh, what's the business problem? And then what's the value? What's the opportunity that we have here? So we have the opportunity to, uh, to streamline our operations. We have the opportunity to uh, save costs in this particular area. Now keep in mind that an executive may have different thinking to you. If you're saying, or well, we need donuts in the lunchroom, uh, you know, every day because it's going to keep everyone happy. Then, you know, maybe we need to come up with a bit more uh, for the, uh, the benefit. So, what is what is the dollar benefit that we can do? How can we break that down into a, a physical benefit or a dollar benefit for the company? So, this is where it makes us have to do our thinking as well, which is really really cool. And that's done in the next two sections where. What is the current issue? So what is prompting the need for action? Or, and what's the cost of not taking action? So well, maybe in the case of uh, donuts in the kitchen, uh, maybe people actually don't have enough to eat and so they're not doing the best job. Maybe they're not making enough sales as a result and putting donuts in the kitchen could increase sales by two or three a day and make X amount of dollars. I'm just spitballing ideas here, but that's one example. And it's forcing us to think about it in the same way that an executive might think about it. So include the data and the facts. So how many people, how many sales, how many donuts? <laughs> you know, it's probably a terrible analogy, but I'm going to roll with it now. <laughs> um, who are the stakeholders affected and what's the gap? So where are we now? Where do we need to be to get the results we want? This is the current issue. Put all of that in a bullet point form. Don't make it too wordy, make it nice and simple. Now the solution, how are we going to solve this, uh, this issue, this current issue? Now the best way we can do this is in a solution table. So maybe we have a few different options and if we don't, maybe it's good to have a few different options, but we want to clearly show the best option. So what is the benefit we're expecting to get? What is the cost uh, for that? So maybe donuts is gonna be $20 a day, for example, for a bunch of donuts, or 30 or 50. Uh, and, but then what's the benefit? Maybe we're making $1,000 extra in sales every day. So now we start to see that maybe this solution does have some legs, maybe it is actually going to work. And we put these solutions and we put which one we're probably going to recommend. Is it required? Is it desired? Or is it optional? Required is usually if it's a, if it's a mandatory thing, maybe it's regulation or legal or, uh, or political, maybe that's really required. Desired is something that we really do want and it will make a difference. Optional is something that probably we could go without. Now lastly, just the recommendations in a very simple sentence. We recommend that you approve solution X based on its cost to benefit ratio. We recommend you approve the resources for this area. We, you know, whatever it is that you're recommending to the uh, manager to do, put it very, very clearly. So it's just one or two sentences so they don't have to, you know, get bamboozled by too much text. Trust me, as an executive, they have too much information thrown at them every single day. You need to make it extremely simple and this template will do that for you. And then finally, once you go through this with them, send it to them and have them uh, send back via email either approve or not approve, um, or maybe they want more information. 
Um, but once you have that approval in writing an email, then that's when we can start to kick off our project or to go ahead with the change that we're wanting to make. All right, so that's a basic high level overview and I hope this really helps you. Let's create it in Word and I'll show you how so you can take it and use it in your own business straight away. The first thing we're gonna do is double click in the header area here and just put the heading as our project business case. We can make that uh, maybe italic and maybe make the, make the color just a, a lighter gray so that it doesn't stand out too much. But we also want to insert page numbers. And to do that, we're going to go to insert all the way over to page number. And we'll have that at the bottom of the page over on the right hand side. So plane number three. Uh, and now that's, now that's created that quite nicely for us. And now what we want to do is just go to our footer area select insert a table and just that table uh, that we have here just a single cell now we'll select our uh, the number here drag this down into the middle uh, and now that's a little bit nicer and what we want to do is just design this this uh, table we'll get rid of the the bottom border so no borders and we'll have a top border that's nice and golden and if we do that as you can see, now we've got a nice little bottom area for our particular template. Now we do want to do the same thing for our heading area. To do that, we're just going to go to insert table. We want four columns and about three rows. And if we select that whole, uh, the whole thing here and just get rid of all of our borders, now what we can do is we want to have for our top two, just a nice right hand border. And again, for our other one, a nice right hand border over here as well. And now we can move these to suit. So the first one is going to be our date, then we want our subject. This one is going to be who it's to, and this one is going to be who it is from. Now we can change this and, and move this around just a little bit just to, to make it suit. And then for the very bottom, if we select that one and do our design, well, let's put a bottom border there as well. Now that's a nice little heading area for us. We can actually change the margins here by right clicking and going to table properties. And if we just go to uh, options here, we can reduce these default margins and just have them more to what we actually want. So if we click OK, now that's a little bit nicer for us. Now the first thing we're going to do is the summary, just to put a one and with a summary here. Second one is the current issue. Third one is the, current, is the solution approach. And fourth one is the recommendations. Now the little trick that we want here is for, uh, we just want to use bullet points, but we want to use a line, a nice lined bullet point. We can uh, have a different bullet point here if we really want to with a symbol. So a nice long lined symbol. And if we select OK and over to the left, then that's going to look quite nice for us. The rest we can fill out as we've been through those already. Uh, but the solution approach, let's just create that table and make that look really nice. For the solution approach, again, if we just insert a table with as many rows as we like and maybe five columns across, then what we're going to do is, again, just get rid of all of those borders so that we can start our own. And for the top one, let's make the pen color black and we'll have ourselves a nice bottom border and a nice top border. We'll also put ourselves a, a nice uh, vertical inside border here as well. And maybe one on the very bottom. Now for our ones in between, let's go back to our beautiful gold color and just put ourselves as a, uh, an inside horizontal border. Now we can put in the headings and just center this nicely. This first one is our number. Second one is solution option. Third one is high level benefit. Then our high level cost. Then we want our required, desired, or optional status. Lastly, we've just got our recommendations section, which we have looked at already. And now we've got a beautiful project business case on a single page that is very easy for people to say yes to and to help us to get changes done in our organization. I hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me in creating this and going through a project business case. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.